Okay, for anyone considering upgrading your front brake on your Royal Enfield Himalayan, uh, one way you can do it is to use the caliper off of a Harley Davidson Street 750. I believe that bike is also made in India. Externally, these brakes look a lot alike dimension wise. Um, obviously, this one doesn't have the Bibri stamp on the outside, uh, but all the mounting pins and everything are in the same location, it looks like. If you do this, you'll need to make sure you get a Harley brake that comes with uh, the brake line bolt because that's different than the Royal Enfield one. And you'll reuse your Royal Enfield mounting screws here. Uh, make sure you get a brake caliper with the mounting bracket. And they're all over eBay. Apparently, a lot of people crash these Harley Davidson Street 750s. Uh, I mounted it up. Well, first I took it apart, cleaned it, um, got all the old brake fluid out, and then uh, reassembled it. I had some spare brake pads. Well, here's the interesting, one interesting thing. The, uh, it uses the exact same brake pads as the Bybri. So your pads off of that caliper will fit in that caliper. Or you can continue to buy brake pads for Royal Enfield and they'll fit in this caliper. That's kind of nice. Um, so I threw in a new set of brake pads because I had a spare set hanging on the wall. Put it back together. Me and my wife spent about 15 minutes bleeding the brake. Took a while. These brake lines on the Royal Enfields, they, uh, they go all the way up and back to the swing arm where the ABS controller is. So if you get air in there, you've got a little work to do. <clears throat> anyway, we got the air out and got, you know, obviously got the fluid filled in here and it feels nice and solid. In fact, it's, it's way firmer than with the Vibri brake, the stock brake. Um, so externally, they look the same. Um, they use the same brake pads. So why is this one reported to be a lot better? Well, I measured some things. Uh, everything is the same except probably the most important thing. The pistons on that caliper are 26 millimeter. The pistons on that caliper are 28 millimeter. So you can, you know, yesterday was Pi Day, so you can work uh, with Pi and go with your millimeters and figure out how much more clamping power those two pistons have over those two pistons. And I think that's your difference. Um, Obviously, the Street 750 is probably a way heavier bike than the Royal Enfield Himalayan. So uh, it was logical for them to use a little bit better brake than what comes on the Himalayan. Fortunately, that's an amazing brake for a 400-pound Himalayan. And it's a direct bolt-on swap. Um, if you can find one, do it. You want to find a Harley-Davidson Street 750 with a single rotor and single caliper on the front because they make a Harley-Davidson Street V-Rod, I believe, or V-Rod, or Street Rod. I don't know. I'm not really a Harley fan. Uh, I mean, they're cool bikes. I just, I've never owned one. My brother's the Harley guy. Um, but yeah, I think it's called a 750 Street Rod, and it comes with dual disc and dual calipers, and I don't think those calipers are um, the same as these, so they may not fit the uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan. But um, the one off the 750 Street does fit. And like I said, they're all over eBay because people are wadding those things up for some reason. Um, if you order one, make sure you get one with the bolt or you'll have to go to Harley and buy one and make sure it comes with a bracket or you'll have to go to Harley and buy one of those. Uh, I think I said before, you'll use the Royal Enfield mounting hardware here, these two bolts. Um, everything else fits as you see. Um, the brake feels really good. Uh, it's not mushy at all. It's nice and solid now. Uh, I need to take it for a test drive. I have no doubts that it's going to be way better because it just feels better. You know, we can grab a handful of brake just sitting here. You can go, wow, well, yeah, that, that feels... There's no play, squish, or mush. It's just a solid feeling brake. Um, so, yeah, I'll uh, obviously report back with a after a test ride. But there's been people that have done this swap, and they claim it's way better. And uh, at this point, I believe them because two millimeter size on the piston up is going to pretty make a pretty big difference. So, yeah, I mean, 
obviously disclaimer if you do this you're uh, you're kind of on your own but uh, yeah it seems like a worthwhile upgrade as far as brake front brakes go if you find your himalayan front brake lacking at all anyway if you like the video boom thumbs up and if you can subscribe it helps thank you So yeah, I've been riding it for about 30 minutes. Did that last stop, my wife filmed it there. I'm gonna say it's the first time ever on a Himalayan that I've engaged the ABS in the front. <laughs> so that's how much more braking power there is. Um, I like the modification. And as you can see from the one stop that was filmed there, it, uh, it works pretty good. So it gets at least one thumbs up. I think two thumbs up because uh, you basically can continue to use uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan brake pads in that caliper. So if you were to leave it modified like this and you sell it down the road, um, you know, someone buying parts would just buy the right parts on purpose or accident, or however you want to say it. Anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a good upgrade. Um, obviously, we'll need to do longer term testing, but... In the 30 minutes I rode around, stopping from 60 down to zero. Feels good. I like it. Catch you guys out there. Ride safe.